Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create surreal color effects using the Channel Mixer in Photoshop. Before we get started with creating surreal colors in Photoshop, let's have a look and see what it is that we're trying to do. This is the original image out of the camera, and this is the image with a sort of surreal coloring effect applied to it. And it's very easy to do, and you can also save these as presets. I have a second image here that we're going to look at, and that is this lion from London. This has had a different effect applied to it, the same tool, but a different result. This is the original image, and this is the more surreal color image. And we're going to have a look and see how we can apply this effect to our images, and also save some of these as custom presets so we can use them over and over again. Let's start back again with this lion as it was out of the camera. So I'm just going to trash the layer from it, and we're going to see how we can build this effect up. I'm going to do it using a adjustment layer because that means it will remain editable, and we can also mask it and do other things with it. So I'll choose Layer and then New Adjustment Layer, and I'm using the Channel Mixer, and click OK. Now the Channel Mixer allows us to get access to the data in the color channels in this image. It's an RGB color image, so we've got the red, green, and blue channels here. And the way an image is usually presented is that the blue channel has 100% blue in it, the green channel has 100% green, and the red channel has 100% red. And what we're doing with the Channel Mixer to create our surreal color is we're going to walk these colors around. So we're going to zero out the red channel entirely. And what we're going to do is pump them full of green. So I'm going to type 100 in here for the green. At any point, if you see a result that you like, you can just stop. We're going to continue. I'm going now to the green channel, and I'm going to zero out or remove the green from the green channel. And in its place, I'm going to add blue. So I'm going to type 100% blue into the green channel. And we're halfway to the effect that we were looking for. And now let's go to the blue channel, which is the last channel here. And we're going to remove blue from the blue channel. Just type 0 in its place. And in place of that, we're going to add 100% red. And that's giving us this look that we saw in the image when we first started this video tutorial. And if I'm happy with that, I can just close the dialog. And this is an adjustment layer, so it can be added or subtracted from the image by just turning on or off its visibility. It's also possible to adjust its opacity, so we can mix it into the image underneath and just use it to give a subtle coloring of the image. We can also blend it using blend modes. So we could do something like apply the overlay blend mode, or perhaps soft light. The most interesting blend modes are probably going to be in the dark and light and in this group here. But you can experiment and see the results that you get. I'm just going back to normal here. And if I want to adjust the effect, I'll just double click on the adjustment layer here in the Layers palette, and I can edit it. But what we're going to do now is to save this as a preset. So I'm going to open this little flyout menu here and choose Save Channel Mixer Preset. And I'm just going to call this Rotation 1. And then click Save. And it's now a preset in the list here, so I can apply it to images in future by just selecting it from the preset list. Well, let's close this image down for a minute, and let's go and find the other image that we were working with. And I'm going to remove the channel mixing layer from this image so that we can get back to what the image looked like to begin with. And let's reapply the effect. Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Channel Mixer. Now this time I'm going to do something a little bit different, and instead of filling the red channel with 100% green, I'm going to add into it 50% green and 50% blue. So I'm going to do sort of half the effect. Zero out the red, and instead of 100% green, I'm just going to add in 50% green, and then 50% blue. 
So this is going to give us a slightly different look to our recolored image. And again, we can stop whenever we get to something that we like. Let's go to the green channel. This time I'm going to zero out the green channel, but I'm going to add in 50% blue and 50% red. And then I'm going to the blue channel. I'm going to take all the blue out of the blue channel. And I'm going to add back in 50% green and 50% red. Now I don't have to apply these exact mixes. Typically what you'll want to do is you'll want to add in 100% in total. But you could add in, for example, 75% of red, but only 25% of green or some other combination of your choice. I'm just going to make these 50 and 50 for now. And I'm going to save this as another preset. So again, Save Channel Mixer. And this is going to be Rotation 2. It's labeled here. And you can see that we can get to Rotation 1 for this image by just selecting it from the Channel Mixer preset. So here is a way of applying some surreal color effects to your images. Some of them are a little more realistic than others. But basically what you're doing is remapping the colors in the image. So you're taking all the blue out of the blue channel and replacing it with other colors. And then all of the green out of the green channel and replacing it with other colors as well. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel. And consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications, including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.